The post Braxton Miller era has officially begun for the 2014 Ohio State football team. And while the Buckeyes are certainly contrite following the loss of their offensive leader, hope springs eternal and expectations remain high. I mean, expectations are still the same. We're Ohio State Buckeyes, and you know, we're going to move forward and get it going. Uh, they haven't changed, honestly. Uh, you know, we just got to compete for championships. You know the answer to that. We practice 21 tomorrow, and, and uh, I, I still like our team. I mean, really like it. After today's practice, really, really like our team. JT Barrett and the Buckeyes did not get off to the start they wanted to in the first game of the 2014 season against Navy, but a different Ohio State team emerged from the tunnel for the second half as the Buckeyes eventually took control and beat the midshipmen by a final score of 34-17. to and they were 10 deep, you know, I wanted to attack the ball, you know, real aggressive. And I felt like if I just got my hands on the ball, you know, it was going to be easier for me because they were running down at a shorter, you know, shorter length. And once I got the ball, I just put my foot in the ground and the seen, seen the end zone and he got there. It's very disappointing, sir. It's very disappointing. Pro disappointed, you know, sir, I don't know. Coaches don't get surprised. You get disappointed and, and uh, obviously uh, we just got to work a little harder. And, and I, I still have confidence. We have enough skill on this football team to get by people. Investigators and the missing persons unit have worked together to confirm through tattoos found at the scene that the body is of missing OSU football player Costa Caratorge. The 22-year-old senior walk-on defensive lineman and former wrestler was last seen in his apartment at 2 a.m. last Wednesday. And at this time, uh, preliminary investigation is showing that he died from what appears to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. A lot of things happened this past week, and I. There's a family grieving that uh, was a big part of our family, Costa, and uh, we had a, a prayer and a moment of silence in our locker room for him and his family, and, and uh, we'll never forget our teammate. that fourth quarter, the record-setting crowd at Ohio Stadium was silenced as Barrett was tackled but did not get up and was instead carted from the field with a cast on his leg. I heard him yell and I went over to help him up and when I went over I saw his ankle and it wasn't pretty and I just you know told him he, he just stay down, stay down. On that third and 23, JT Barrett found Devin Smith down the field for 44 yards, and all of a sudden, the Buckeye offense came alive. I told him, I was like, hey, you're to the field and run really fast, just because it, it jammed him, but not as much, and Devin, he does a pretty good job getting off. It felt good just for what happened last year, and to come out here in their house, and everybody in the world expecting them to win, and we come out here and, and, and really kind of expose them a little bit and get the W, man, it, it's, it feels great. Defense struggles sometime. We did Cincinnati and the offense just kept us going. So it was the other way this time. They just kept motivating us to keep going and it was a good team win. I mean, you can't be many more proud of a, of a group of kids. You know, when momentum shifts, man, it is really tough. And I think that's the, the name of the game in this, in college football, in, in football in general. I mean, you got the momentum, you got to keep it. When, when you lose it, you got to find a way to get it. Led by third-string quarterback Cardale Jones, who was making his first start for the Buckeyes, Ohio State raced out to a 38-0 lead by halftime, thanks in large part to Jones' 211 yards and two touchdown passes in the first half. Their teammates and nine assistant coaches who did a wonderful job, but most importantly, very grateful for this team I get to coach. These are great guys that uh, come together and in a tough week, a uh, close team even got closer.